Welcome back to the RSET online course on special electrical machines. We were discussing about Swiss electrons motor in the last lecture. Now in this lecture, we will continue our discussion on different types of converter circuits. So as per our discussion in the previous lecture, there are different types of power converter circuits for an SRM drive, mainly five different types. And the first one that is circuit with two switching devices per phase is already been discussed in the previous lecture. So in this lecture, we will continue our discussions uh, about the rest of the four types of power converter circuits. Next circuit is circuit with n plus 1 switching devices and n plus 1 diodes. So in this figure, the motor has three phases, A, B and C. Therefore, the converter circuit will have four switching devices, T, T1, T2 and T3 and four diodes, D, D1 d2 and t3 now for energizing a particular winding say for example phase a winding we need to turn on switches t and t1 so energy starts to flow from the supply to the winding as shown in the dot lines like this Now when these two switches are turned off, the energy which is stored in the winding will be fed back to the supply through the diodes D1 and D. The direction of current flow is shown by the dot lines here. So energy regeneration or recovery is obtained here. Similarly, for energizing phase B winding, we switch on the switch T and T2. And for energizing phase C winding, we switch on T and T3. Now, advantages for this type of circuit. Here, the number of switching devices got reduced. Say for example, for a three-phase SR motor, the number of switching devices in the first type of circuit was six. Six switches and six diodes. But here it has reduced to four. Four switches and four diodes. So that will reduce the cost of the circuit. Now compared to the previous case, free, free wheeling action is there and it will reduce the switching losses and voltage rating of all the devices and diodes is supply itself so that is relatively low and when both the switches are off energy stored in the winding is fed back to the source that will result in improving the efficiency of the circuit but we have some disadvantages also the circuit has to suffer from higher torque ripple and since t is on for all the phases most of the time, it suffers from higher switching stresses. Now, third converter circuit is for SRM motor with bifilar winding. Bifilar winding is nothing but a winding which has two sections with a common terminal. So, the uh, motor for a particular phase, it will have two identical and mantically coupled coils, A and A dash. So it will have a particular phase winding will have two sections with one common terminal. So that is bifilar winding. 
So if an SRM motor with a bifilar winding is used, we can use this type of converter circuit. Now moving on to the working. For energizing a particular winding, a particular phase, first we have to turn on switch T1. The direction of current flow is as shown in the figure with the dotted lines. The current starts to flow from the supply through the first section of winding A and turned on switch T1. Now, when the switch T1 is turned off, the stored energy in the winding A, which is coupled in the second section A dash, will be fed back to the supply through the diode D1. So, when the T1 switch is turned on, the first section of winding will be energized. It is magnetically coupled to the second section A dash. So during turn off of switch T1, the energy stored in the winding A dash will be fed back to the supply through the diode T1. Advantage for this type of converter circuit is that we have a lower number of switching devices compared to the other two converter circuits. So that will reduce the overall cost of the converter. But we have some disadvantages also. Since we are using a bifilar winding for an SR motor, for an SR motor, it requires or it needs double the number of connections and for a bifilar winding the main disadvantage is the poor utilization of the copper material and the third disadvantage is prevailing is not possible during the chopping operation and the fourth one if uh, there is an imperfection in the coupling between the two winding sections, it will cause a voltage spike when the switches are turned off. And since more copper is used, the copper loss will be high. Next type of circuit is split link circuit, which is used for SRM where the number of phases are even. In this example, the switch latent motor is having four phases, A, B, C, and D. And the phase bindings has to be connected in this fashion with a common point like this. And for four phase motor, we have four number of switches T1, T2, T3 and T4 and four number of diodes D1, D2, T3 and D4. Now during the conduction mode energy is being supplied to the phase by one phase, one half of the power supply. That is, if you want to energize phase A winding, it gets energy from the upper half of the power supply. Now, during the commutation period, the stored energy in the winding A. is fed back to the other half of the supply and the direction of uh, current is shown as dotted lines in the figure. So this is how the split link circuit works. During the conduction period, 
for phase A, taking it as an example, it gets energy from the upper half of the supply and during the commutation period, the energy stored in the winding will be fed back to the lower half of the supply. Now, advantages of this type of circuit is we require only lower number of switching devices. That is in the previous example, you have a four phase SRM and for four phases, you require only four number of controllable switches and four number of diodes. So that will reduce the cost of the converter. And another advantage is faster demantization of phases during the turn off period. We have a few disadvantages also. It is not feasible for low voltage application and it is less fault tolerant because if fault occurs in any one of the phase, it will cause unbalance in the other phase which is connected to it. Next type of circuit is CDEM circuit. Now in this figure, the SRM or the switch transmitter is having four phases, phase A, phase B, phase C and phase D. And it has four switches, T1, T2, T3 and T4 and four diodes, D1, D2, D3 and D4. Now for energy recovery or for recovering the energy from the winding to the source, we have some additional components at the front side that is a capacitor CD and the DC DC converter which is a first quadrant chopper and its components are a switch TR, a diode DR and an inductor LR. Now the stored magnetic energy in the stator winding during the conduction period will be partially transferred to the capacitor CD and that will be recovered from it by a first quadrant DC-DC converter and that is finally sent to the DC source. Thus, the energy is recovered from the winding to the DC source. Now, let's see the working of CDEM circuit. The graph here the first graph is the inductance profile, second is the reference current, third is the actual winding current, fourth and fifth are the pulses given to T1 switch which corresponds to winding A and TR is the energy recovering switch. Now the first case when T1 is on with TR off this happens at the starting point of increasing inductance region to so turn on T1 DC supply or the DC source supplies the magnetizing energy to the winding and as a result the stator winding current starts to increase. Now keeping T1 in on state Turn on TR, which is the energy recovery switch. At this point, the energy from capacitor CD will be transferred to source as well as inductor L0. Now, the current has reached the upper limit defined by the current controller at this point and the controller will give command to withdraw gating signals from T1 and TR. So that is the case number 3 when T1 and TR are off. Now in this mode, energy in the machine is transferred to the 
capacitor Td. Now there is one more case. There is one more case, which is case number four, where Tr energy recovery switch is turned on, keeping T1 in off state. In this mode, energy stored in the capacitor Cd is transferred to this source. Or in other words, here energy recovery happens. So that's all about the different converter circuits used for switch reference motor drive. Now references for preparing this lecture. Textbook on special electrical machines by E. G. Janadhanan and switch electrons motor drives modeling simulation analysis design and applications by R. Krishnan. Thank you.